Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. This video is about differential cross section, cross section in general, and the problem related to them. Um, here we'll uh, do the problems from the book Zetli, chapter 11, and these are the exercise problems. The problem 11.3 solution is already uploaded, so you can check out the playlist Quantum Mechanics. Here. You can find that problem uh, in there. And I have also added English subtitles in them so that you may not find difficulty in understanding Urdu language. Here I first quoted the uh, main formulas in Bourne approximation. Here, uh, uh, because uh, when you are talking about differential cross section using the integral formulas, then the applicable and uh, practical formula that we can use in solving the problem is uh, that one from Bourne approximation, Bourne's first approximation. And the problem statement will clearly um, show that whether to use partial wave analysis or bone approximation. I will quote these formulas and this formula is the bone's first approximation for any general weak potential V of R vector. Here R vector shows that uh, the potential is not necessarily uh, spherically symmetric and it could be non-spherical. Uh, non-spherically symmetric to or any general potential but this one formula is for the spherically symmetric potential when uh, we consider that v of r is spherically symmetric uh, when we assume that then we can uh, show that uh, integral in terms of spherically symmetric volume integral and this integral solves out to become this one integral so this integral is specifically for spherically symmetric potentials so if you have spherically symmetric potential then you have two choices um, you can use this one formula or this one formula you have two choices but if you have uh, a potential which is not spherically symmetric then you have to use this one formula only you cannot use this one formula for the potentials which are spherically symmetric which are not spherically symmetric you will always see uh, that one expression like a vector uh, in this bracket form which shows that V is the function of R vector. So this will clearly show you that this potential is not spherically symmetric. Then you have to use this one formula. Clearly show it and we'll see them in future videos. Next videos that, that we'll do. So this one problem is 11.4 and it says that calculate the differential cross section. We need to find out the differential cross section by using the bone first approximation for the scattering of a particle by an attractive square, square well potential whose uh, values are given right there so now this potential is a uh, spherically symmetric potential because constant potentials are always spherically symmetric potential so we can use this one formula okay here the potential is given uh, and i have ignorantly wrote it in this form this is uh, more of a readable form where uh, v of r is equals to minus v naught for r less than a okay and v of r is equals to zero for r greater than a so this is the piecewise potential uh, and we can see here the limits of integration so uh, these limit of integrations uh, will be affected by this like this is a piecewise function so these limits will break up like for piecewise functions we know that the integrals just break up so i'm putting the value of potential right there and i'm breaking the limits into two parts uh, first is for r less than a r less than a least value of limit is zero so it will not be affected and it will run from 0 to a for the domain r is less than a and we can see the minimum uh, limit is 0 and it extends towards infinity so the lower limit will not be affected and it will extend from 0 to a okay and r prime as it is and v of r prime in place of v of r prime will put minus v naught and sign q r prime as it is and d r prime okay so plus the other part is if i put big bracket on it because this quantity will appear with this one will and uh, uh, with this one quantity and also with this one quantity so r prime and here uh, in the domain a to infinity we know that the potential is zero in this domain for r greater than a sine q r prime d r prime for this part of the integral this will become zero because this is zero and it will multiply with the integrand and the whole quantity will become zero so the only non zero part will be this one part so we'll write this at the end we'll take the square uh, modulus of this scattering amplitude to get the differential cross section uh, it's better to use this one and then take the square of it easily this minus sign will come out and it will become 
plus and v naught will come out because it is constant and we are left with this quantity now we have to solve this one integral and for this uh, we can use integration by parts uh, and taking this as first quantity and this one as second quantity because uh, if you take r prime as first quantity and we take differential different uh, we take the differentiation of first term in the integral and it becomes one and the integral gets solved very easily so r prime as it is integration of sine q r prime dr prime minus differentiation of r prime with respect to dr prime uh, with respect to r prime and that will be one you know that is why i am directly putting it one here r prime and the integration of sine q r prime is cos q r prime with negative sign divided by its um, derivative of its angle that is q minus the similar thing will happen right there too and the limits are 0 to a uh, this is very easy integral and it will get solved very easily hopefully the limits will not yes the limits will not create any problem minus minus makes it plus and whenever q comes outside and the integration of cos q r prime is sine q r prime by q okay from 0 to a here it becomes this from 0 to a now we'll put the limits of integration in it and upper limit here uh, these limits are for r prime values so we'll put these values in place of r prime so upper limit is a cos q a divided by q minus lower limit and for lower limit we'll put zero right there and we will make this whole quantity zero for the lower limit part so i'll put zero instead of the whole thing then plus whenever q square i'm taking common outside and we'll put the value right there in sine q a minus sine q zero and sine in q zero means zero so sine so sine of zero is zero that is why i'm not mentioning it and i'm just ending up writing this this is my first time uh, recording video in english language so if i'm um, doing some problems so please cooperate it will become better with time now uh, this is the f of theta's value this is the value of f of theta that we got now we have to take the square of it to get the value of differential cross section so it will be t sigma by t omega equals square of it and that will be 4 mu square v naught square by h cut 4 q square and the square of this whole quantity so this is the final answer that we got for the differential cross section in case of the uh, attractive square well potential